back to my channel. My name is Alicia and I make fashion and DIY videos. And for my returning subscribers, you might have noticed that I changed my hair. I have purple hair now. I made an entire video showing the entire process. I also cut like 12 inches of my hair off and donated it. So if you want to see that video, you can click it right over here. So in today's video, I'm going to be transforming this old velvet dress that I got at a thrift store. So there's this trend going on recently that's the sort of ruching up of the fabric. Like you have two ties and then you can just pull up the fabric for it to create a sort of cinched, ruched effect. So that's what I'm going to be doing to this dress today. I'm not really good at like drawing clothes, but I sort of drew the idea that I want the dress to become. So I'll just show that over here. Don't judge my drawing skills. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. I started by tracing out the top of a slip dress I already owned. If you don't have a slip dress, you can just use a camisole. We'll need some extra length added to be able to cinch it up later. So multiply the length by 1.5. My bodice was 10 inches, so the new length is 15 inches. Put a mark at 15 inches and trace the bottom of the bodice. Cut it out with half an inch of seam allowance. So we have the front piece. And for the back piece, cut it straight across. For the skirt, mark the end points of the bodice and connect that to the bottom corners of the skirt. And cut it out. Make a facing for the front by attaching leftover fabric pieces and trace out the armholes and the neckline. Cut it out by following the markings. However, I found by sewing pieces of fabric together, it made it too bulky. So I decided to use a different velvet fabric I already owned. And that's the one I'll be using. So instead of making the little ties that will be used to cinch up the dress, I find velvet is too hard to work with to make little tiny straps. So I got these velvet ribbons from my local fabric store. Each of them are two meter each. So in total, I got six meters of velvet ribbon. <laughs> and to make little casings for the ribbons to go through, I'm gonna use some extra fabric I had on hand going to be using this fabric that I actually did from an older tutorial. I showed how to make Studio Ghibli's Kiki's costume and this is the remaining of that. So let's start making the casing. Cut 1.5 inch wide strips of fabric. You'll need three that are the length of the bodice and one that is the total length of the dress. Mark the middle of each casing and also mark where you want to place them onto the top. Hem the top edge of the back bodice by folding it once and sewing it down. Next, place the casings onto the top and align the markings. Leave half an inch of extra fabric on the top and fold it in to hide the raw edges. Sew only the middle of the casing. And do the same for the right side of the front piece. And that's why we marked the center earlier to make sure the stitches are clean and even. Cut out all of the velvet ribbons, two should be about 48 inches long, and six of them should be about 25 inches long. To place the ribbons, put them under the casing and sew the sides. Be careful to not sew over the ribbon while doing this. And the back piece is complete and repeat the same steps for the front piece. Now to attach the top to the skirt. Place the front piece right sides together to the skirt and sew it. And do the same thing for the back. Sew with a zigzag stitch so that the fabric will stay stretchy. And now to add the final casing. I drew the line where I wanted the ruffling to be on the skirt and aligned that marking with the casing. Sew the middle of the casing. Before sewing the sides of the casing, mark the ribbons at 25 inches and place them at the seam line. And then put the ribbons under the casing just like we did with the previous ones. Top stitch over the seam line to keep the ribbons in place. Next, sew the sides of the casing all the way down the dress. 
And now all the casings and ribbons are sewn. So last minute, I decided to add some pockets. And for that, I used a pocket pattern I already owned and will need to cut four of these. Trace them onto the fabric and cut it out. Place the pockets onto each side of the skirt at about 3 inches from the seam line and sew it. Repeat the same thing for the back skirt as well. Flip the pocket over and top stitch the edge. Even out the ribbon openings by cutting it straight across. Do that for the inside channels and the main fabric. Also do the same for the facing we cut out earlier. I'm also going to cut off a part of the bottom to reduce the bulkiness. Place the facing right sides together to the dress and sew the neckline. But leave a gap where the ribbons are. Just like this, and then flip the facing to its right side and pass the ribbons through the openings. To finish off the facing, sew a understitch, like that the fabric will lay flat. And now to sew the front and back sides of the dress. Place them right sides together and sew the side seams and sew all around the pockets. Flip the dress inside out and we can start pulling on the ribbons to create the gathers. For the front, you'll want to gather it until it becomes the same length as the slip dress you traced from. Mine was about 10 inches, and the back was about 6 inches. And then top stitch the opening of the ribbons closed. For the front, I also top stitch over the neckline at the same time. It should give a nice and clean finish just like this. One last finishing touch is to cut the end of the ribbons at a diagonal to prevent them from fraying. And we're done! Here's the final transformation. for watching my video but I'm a bit torn about the dress like I find it looks really nice but I think it's just not my style like I feel it's a bit too um I'm not sure but I don't know I just feel it doesn't suit me very well like it's just not my style so I think I'm probably going to sell it onto my Depop so for those who don't know, Depop is a reselling app. I sell some of my pre-owned clothes and also clothes that I've made in the past. So if you want to check it out, it's at Ali Jansen. And you can also purchase the dress that I made in this video. So make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DIY and fashion videos. And also follow me on Instagram at Ali Jansen. And I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye!